that should be flashing. So hi, okay. I'm Ty. Hi. Nice I'm to Jacob. meet you. Nice to meet you. So I got a hobby where I set up a table mm -hmm. and talk to people about whatever they want to talk about. I think okay. it's really cool to show that, you know, any two people can talk about anything, regardless uh -huh. of the color, whatever. Big size, how rich they uh -huh. look, doesn't matter. Uh, normally the conversations that we have are really cool when they're centered around what someone really strongly believes or a uh -huh. philosophy they have or something they wrap their lives around. If you okay. want to talk about that, we can talk about Marvel movies okay. or your favorite junk food. <laughs> All right. But is there anything that you really strongly believe is true or something you're confident about? Can that's I also fit something and ask you your name again? Oh, yeah. Jacob. Jacob. I'm Ty. Ty. Uh -huh. Jacob. That's a big question. Um, well, well, I'd say I'm a Christian, so that, okay. that's probably my biggest um, belief. Uh, I'm not. There are a lot of beliefs in Christianity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, Would you just say, like, the Christian I, God exists, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I believe in, in one God and that his uh This is a really is... heavy topic. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're in middle school class, by the way. Just <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. But how confident are you that Jesus and God exists? All right. I'd say 100%. 100%? Yeah, I'm going to define 100% and just let me know because yeah, uh -huh. it's a number. And, I yeah, hate, yeah, yeah. and you can change the number. I don't care. But 100% to me is like... Like no doubt. No doubt. Uh -huh. There's no way I can be wrong. I'm not asking questions anymore. Uh -huh. I'm certain closed-minded on the position. I'm closed on the position. 100%. Let's go 98%. 98%? <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, everybody has those periods of doubt, right? I think so. Uh -huh. And I think it's actually healthier to not be absolute yeah, about what uh -huh. you believe. What got you to the 98% confidence on this God and um, Jesus? Yeah, I'm just yeah, going to combine them yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, or like on the existence of the Christian God. That, so I'm a I'm actually a medical student, mm -hmm. and I found a big interest in biology when I was in high school. There's like one big hypothesis out there called the RNA hypothesis. RNA world theory. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that because RNA can act as like a catalyst and also a, as a way to store information, biological information. That might have been what was initially. Um, used as, as protein and DNA. Right. Um, but, like, when they... Do you know uh, the Stanley Miller experiment? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they show that if you put, like... RNA in one tube and make it rapidly produce itself, it can make, like, little tiny monsters of itself. Or, well... Like, simplified versions of RNA. The one I'm thinking of is that they put a whole bunch of... Um, Nucleotides? Sorry for interrupting. Well, love you know, you know, you're fine. I'm just... Uh, it, it's been a while since I've read it. So, like, they tried to recreate the... Uh, the oceans of the earth and mm -hmm. like this in this um small environment and then they would like zap it with um electricity sure um to kind of uh, simulate the <laughs> simulate the um environment and atmosphere of the earth um mm -hmm. four million years ago right and they show that they can actually make some um molecules that are essential to life some amino acids right um and like urea formaldehyde stuff like that However, the amino acids that they make are only like lysine and very simple nonpolar sure. amino acids. So they mm -hmm. haven't shown that they can create more of the complex amino acids that are needed um, to sustain life. And they also never showed that they could create DNA or RNA. Can I ask you, how does this get you to the God belief? Like, how does so, how do so, these yeah, experiments yeah, yeah. Okay, lead so to the like, ninety-eight percent confidence in I God? I just I don't see a way of life spontaneously generating, and I don't see a way if you like if you were to talk to my astrophysics pal. Sure. And if you talk to him, I cannot see a way of the world or the the universe spontaneously. Jacob, can I ask you a question? Yeah, I'm wondering. So you have this You have this theory that's presented in the scientific model, uh -huh. and it sounds incredible. And you say that sounds. I can't see how that's feasible yet. Uh -huh. Therefore, this completely this must, other thing. Uh -huh. How did how did that how is that your foundation? How did that become? The I wouldn't thing I wouldn't say plan? that's my foundation. That's just like part of or how does this being hard to believe uh -huh. make this 98 percent confident like how oh okay how did that become the alternative at a 98 yeah, yeah. confidence level like was uh -huh. that the reason why you're 98 percent uh, i think that's just part of it and i think um if you look into other parts um of my faith uh so like it's kind of hard to explain and i it, it's kind of all feeling right from a skeptic's point of view um, there are some things in your life that you just kind of you have a gut instinct gut instinct that you that you know it's true um, are gut instincts ever wrong 
Oh, all the time. <laughs> if they can be wrong all the time, does it uh-huh. justify supporting a 98% confidence? From a logical standpoint, no. What is getting you to that 98%? I'd say... So, a belief in, in certain things in the Bible. So, one of the big arguments in apologetics is, why would 12 people um, who followed Jesus around, heard what he said and then saw him die, lie about him coming back to life only to only to know that they were going to be persecuted and put to death mm. for saying that. Mm. Like, Does that get you to the 98%? That, that's kind of like the main thing. It's like the biology, the biology aspect and then that as well. I'm just going to test Go if ahead. That, that is actually uh-huh. your main thing. I'm going to ask you a question. If it turned out, this is kind of weird. And I'm, no, go ahead. Again, I'm just stimulating conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if it turned out that there was substantial evidence to a criteria of your satisfaction, uh-huh. that they were in fact lying, uh-huh. would that reduce your confidence Probably. from 98% down Probably, to like maybe yeah. 70, uh-huh. maybe lower than that? Probably. Okay. Can I throw, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. Say I had a, um, I don't know, I, got a, I have a cat. Uh-huh. I do have a cat. And he's a What's really his cute name? cat. His name's Vinny. Vinny. And I walk him on a leash, and he's a yeah. black cat, and he's super, super cool. <laughs> you walk cool. your cat on a leash? I walk my black... So listen, when I was... So I, I used to work overseas for a while. Okay. It's very common over there. In Sweden, uh-huh. everyone's walking their cats around. In America, they keep them locked up indoors, and yeah. I'm like, that cat wants to be outside. That's why uh-huh. he's in the window. And if you leash train them really young, they're super, super cool about it. But um, it's not so much the leash training, it's just... Would you believe me if I told you I had a cat and I showed you a picture of the cat and, like, I'm holding the cat? Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. If I told you um, I actually have a tiger and his name is Marshall and uh-huh. he's a full-blown full blown Bengal tiger and yeah. I have a picture of him and it's me and the tiger. Would you yeah. believe I have a tiger then? It'd be tougher. It'd be harder It would be to harder to believe. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I told you I had a purple dragon from <laughs> Jupiter that came and visits me in a time uh-huh. machine... And I had a picture of the purple dragon, and there's like a DeLorean in the uh-huh. background. And it's a picture. It's yeah. the same picture. Would you believe that? I'd say it's Photoshop. It's, <laughs> it seems like the more incredible the claim, uh-huh. the better the standard of evidence, or the, yeah, the standard yeah. uh-huh. of evidence improves. Would you say that God is more incredible than a purple dragon from Jupiter? I would, yeah. Uh-huh. So the thing isn't so much that... I, w- I think the apologist angle is, hey... It, what's the likelihood of these 12 people lying uh-huh. it's like maybe it's not even that they're lying it's just that that's a really low bar of evidence mm-hmm. it's basically 12 people saying Tyrone has a cat you believe that yeah. Tyrone has a tiger 12 people said that maybe you'd believe it maybe not uh-huh. per- 12 people told you hey Tyrone has a purple dragon from Jupiter it's like I'm not uh-huh. believing that like you need you need more evidence yeah. to support uh-huh. that with what if it what if it is a case of not so much that they might be lying but that's just may not be enough evidence to reach that conclusion as a definitive claim for at least a 98% certainty that a god exists mm-hmm. since it's way more incredible than Purple Dragon. What do you think about that? All right, can you restate that question? Yeah, it's kind of a long question. Yeah. Do you have enough evidence to justify mm-hmm. 98% confidence in God? And if it's not on uh-huh. that 12 apostle story, yeah. uh-huh. what else is getting you to that level? What else? I'd say I can't answer that just right, right now. I'm totally fine with uh-huh. that. Can I, can I throw one last Oh, yeah, go ahead. If I had a coin, uh-huh. it's a quarter. It's not a trick coin. Uh-huh. If I flip it and I catch it, put it on the back of my hand, I don't know if it's heads or tails. Mm-hmm. Do you know if it's heads or tails? No. That's the best answer. Yeah. Until we have better evidence. Uh-huh. Jacob. All right. Wonderful talking to you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so... Sure. Okay, so if you want, here's a card. Uh-huh. I got a YouTube channel. 